You've come to the right place. If you're a course creator looking to build more impact, income, and freedom, LMS Cast is the number one podcast for course creators just like you. I'm your guide, Chris Badgett. I'm the co-founder of the most powerful tool for building, selling, and protecting engaging online courses called Lifter LMS. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome back to another episode of LMS Cast. Today we're joined by a special guest, Rod- Rodika Irodiu from Romania. She works at a company called Theme Isle, and they have an awesome newer theme on the market called Neve. It has some Lifter LMS specific capabilities built into it. Rodika, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to talk to somebody who's, we interview a lot of different types of people on the show. You're in the same industry I am in terms of building products for WordPress and people um, who are building sites, they want them to be fast, they want them to do certain things. Uh, we connected because uh, your company Themeile built the Neve theme and it has a focus on speed among other things. And we're really grateful that you added Lifter LMS compatibility in your pro version. But to back up a little bit, what was the, what was the story behind Neve? What did you, why did you build it? And what is really the focus of the Neve theme? And just for the listener out there, they have a free version um, on the WordPress uh, repository. And then they have a pro version that adds more stuff. But why, why Neve? Why did you guys decide to build that? Well, uh, we actually worked on Hestia, which is another team that we have. And uh, just adding stuff on it. But at, at some point we, we thought that page builders are coming and it's not that easy to work with an existing team that has lots of options. And we, we decided that it's the, the best time to start a new team from scratch. That's Com- compatible with uh, all the page builders and uh, for which we can really focus on speed. That's that's the main thing that we wanted to achieve with Neve. And with the latest update, I think we, we did that. We are proud that it's kind of the, I mean, it's the most, uh, it's the fastest team at this point. Yeah, that's really important. I mean, especially i mean some of us that work in the tech tech industry though not always the case we have pretty fast internet or whatever but it's easy to forget that there are new people coming online all the time they may live in rural areas and not have the best internet so speed is extremely important yeah yeah actually because we we are a team spread across uh, many uh, places in the world this is a good stuff because we we actually can test multiple <laughs> uh, internet speeds <laughs> at the different uh, in different areas because in Romania for example we have a really good speed <laughs> for the internet <laughs> yeah so maybe we cannot uh, understand the difficulties that some somebody else can uh, uh, experience and what we de- I definitely noticed as well the rise of the page builders. So how do you build a theme that um, takes page builders into account? Like what are some of the things that are either built into the product or ways you think about constructing it that keep things like Elementor and Beaver Builder and whatever in mind? Uh, well, uh, the page templates, you have to have a way of uh, allowing page builders to actually uh, create the landing page. I mean, if you, for example, in Hestia, we have uh, the default page template has a big header uh, on top of the page that wouldn't allow for a page builder to actually create a nice landing page, a full width landing page. So that's one thing. Uh, Another thing would be to, uh, just consider how you write the, your style to not interfere with any of uh, the style added by the page builders. Uh, for example, in Neve right now, we have a bunch of, a library of starter sites, we call them, that you can, uh, which are built in uh, different uh, page builders, Elementor, Beaver, and so on. And uh, for example, for the ones in Elementor, 
uh, we are using that um, there, there, there are two options in Elementor settings that allows you to, uh, how, how should I say it, to, uh, that the, the, the typography and colors that come from the team to be more, um, I, I don't know the word, uh, to, I, <laughs> I have, a, um, like to match or integrate or something? No, 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 to be more important than the options from Elementor, to be on top of them. Oh, to priority or to... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Because, uh, and this way, we are making sure that when you are using the template with Niv, um, the typography, for example, is co it's uh, the same everywhere on, on the site. It matches all the other pages, not the one... Uh, not the one, just the ones in Elementor. And this is a nice touch, I think. Yeah, that is a really nice touch. The, um, you know, it's interesting, like I come from plugin land and we're, we're a lot about functionality. And I mean, we do get into design a little bit, but uh, I'm always amazed at the, the, the focus on design and consistency and making sure things match that really great themes like Neve and, and what you guys just have a really strong design eye. How does that, how is that, uh, where does that design strength come from inside of Themeisle as a company? Actually, we, for the starter sites where, who, where we have the most uh, part in, this, in design, we have somebody called John Frascos. I'm not sure if you know him. <laughs> I don't know him. Yeah, you should uh, Google him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he has a really nice uh, eye for design and he really knows how to organize himself and how to organize the entire design process. I mean, when he started uh, helping us, we didn't have anyone on, on the design part, actually. And he came and now we also have an intern and uh, he, ha he put in place a system that works very well right now. He, uh, his... Um, his project is Analog WP, if you know about Analog it. WP. I will yeah. check that out. Yeah, that's very cool. Well, thank you, thank you for, for sharing that. Can you tell us more about Themeisle as a company, like the history and um, yeah. you know, what makes Themeisle what it is? Sure. Uh, so we are a company that started here in Romania, in Bucharest, about seven years ago. Um, in the beginning, there were three of us, or four, <laughs> uh, with the CEO. Um, and at the beginning, we actually uh, did, um, we were called Coding WP, not Tmile. And we were doing some just custom work, uh, teams for clients. And uh, I don't know, about one or two years la uh, later, we did the Zerif, the Zerif team which is uh, now called Zell. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard about it. <laughs> I got you back. I yeah. thought I was talking by myself. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so we had, um, we made Zerif Light, which had a big, uh, a pretty good success at that time. And um, after that, we, in a couple of years, we launched Hestia, uh, but in the meantime, we also had other teams that didn't have much success. <laughs> I mean, we learned from them. Um, and now we are focusing on Niv. Apart from the team's part, we also have some plugins. Uh, we also have two, blo two blogs, Coding WP blog and Timail blog. Um, we are constantly getting involved in work camps. Uh, organizing or participating as volunteers. We are uh, currently in the first uh, phase for working on Bucharest 2020. So if everybody, everyone wants to come, uh, it's going to be on 25th of April. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we are, I mean, the company is trying to get involved in the com community, in uh, not just with the teams, but uh, with the work camps as well. And 
Well, let's talk about uh, Romania a little bit. I've always, I've worked, I mean, this before I started Lifter, which is five years ago, we ran a digital agency building sites. Back then we hired a designer out of Romania and I was just really impressed with all the technical and design talent in Romania. How, as a country, what's the current state of the tech industry or the remote working freelance industry? Kind of what makes Romania special at this point in time? Uh, yeah, I think we are known for, for the IT industry. Um, is that I mostly in Bucharest or is it spread uh, out? Or, yeah. not, not just in Bucharest. There is another town in Romania called Cluj, which is uh, starting to become like the IT hub of Romania. Uh, big companies uh, are going there right now. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, why <laughs> the Romanian people are, are good at this. Maybe because, uh, I mean, in college, we maybe it's the education system. I'm not sure if it's, uh, I think it's different from other countries. Romanian people will, will say it's worse, but <laughs> maybe that's why <laughs> we are good. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of talented people here, especially young people. people uh, I mean, students actually work to uh, start to work from um, like the first year of college. Or they start working while they're in college, kind of yeah. thing. So yeah. they're getting like hands-on experience in the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because in college you don't get that much uh, experience, practical experience, but. Uh, we have a lot, I mean, we have a lot of uh, geek, geek uh, <laughs> um, I don't know how to call it, hackathons and stuff like that in college. I know every time there was something like this. Oh, that's very cool. Very cool. Um, well, you mentioned uh, doing a lot with WordCamps and, and WordCamp uh, Romania or Bucharest sounds awesome. Uh, I've helped organize some word camps and participated and, and whatnot. I'd love to get over and, and go to more in Europe and Asia and whatnot. Um, part of part of it, the WordPress community is, uh, you know, it's all about one of the values is to like contribute back to the community. And you guys do that with your free themes. We do that with the free core lifter LMS plugin. How does that, how has that worked out for you? Like if in terms of, um, how do you balance giving away for free versus what people pay for in the pro version? Like, how do you approach that? Like with Neve, for example. Um, I don't think we are, we have, I mean, this freemium model really worked for us from the beginning. I mean, Zerif started like this. We really, I mean, we focused more on the free version than the pro version <laughs> at some yeah. point. I mean, we really dedicated to the free version. Really, I mean, resources, time, uh, thinking. We we know that make having a good free product will uh, get the pro uh, product to succeed. I mean, we are more focused on the free version than pre, the than the premium one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... This is what worked for us, and I think this is important. And it's actually working. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's 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 what's worked for us as well in terms of we always ask the question: of How do we give away the most valuable value possible for free and figure out a way to make the business work? So the Lifter LMS Booster that's a uh, in the Pro version is really cool. I, I was I just got it up right here. I'm looking at you're basically. You know, Lifter is mostly functionality, but you guys come in with a bunch of design options to allow people to start customizing the course catalog and different colors and layouts and things. How did you choose Lifter as something worth focusing on in your pro add-on? And what else, what other tools do you put in your pro add-on? Uh, when we were thinking about the, the pro add-on, we were we first considered adding a module for WooCommerce because it's quite popular and uh, there are a lot of people that want it. And uh, after that, after WooCommerce, we were thinking about what uh, other interesting modules we would be able to add. And uh, we were thinking about uh, online courses. And uh, for just a simple Google search, we, I mean, 
mean, <laughs> if there was the choice for online courses. And uh, yeah, we decided to add some extra features in the premium version because uh, I mean, Neve has, uh, I mean, we added compatibility with Lifter in me in the, in the free version, uh, just to make sure that everything works okay when you install Lifter and you can use it. There is no problem with that. But when you get the premium version, you also get some nice options that you can uh, use to make sure the course and membership pages uh, feel the way that the, the, the other pages in the site feel. So there is consistency across the site. That's awesome. I mean, that's really the design uh, fundamental is consistency. Like consistency is everything. Yeah. And plugins by nature, like WooCommerce or Lifter or whatever, um, they try to just be really plain so they can kind of blend into any site, but they, they need a little extra help sometimes. So Yeah, yeah that's why the lifter book. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, can you talk to us about AMP at mm -hmm. all? Like uh, maybe first for people that aren't familiar what that is, what is AMP? And then how does Neve help with compatibility with AMP? Mm -hmm. AMP. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a plugin that you can install and make sure your site is um, um, mobile ready. I don't know how to say it <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's really good for Google. And uh, what we did in if we made sure uh, it works uh, okay with it. The thing is that, uh, for example, <laughs> If you are using Elementor or WooCommerce, these plugins are not working with AMP, so uh, there is going to be a problem with that. But we made sure that Niv by itself, it's working well with AMP. And for example, uh, because it doesn't allow for much JavaScript and stuff like that, we made sure that we have some fallbacks. For, for example, uh, we have infinite scroll for the blog page. And we made sure to, in AMP, to replace that with norm, normal pagination so that everything works okay. Um, yeah, this is basically it. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about how uh, you work at Theme Isle. And, and so for like you and I, I've been working online since 2010. You said you've been with uh, theme aisle for six or seven years, I think. Yeah. Um, so the course creators or the people building these online businesses with WordPress, um, eventually you kind of get to a point where you can't do it all by yourself and you need to start hiring people. And, you know, really the biggest opportunity is with a remote team because then you can get talent from all over the world. How, what are some tips you have? Because you, you said you have people at theme aisle in different countries and it it all works you know the magic happens like what are some tips you have for people that make remote work possible and uh you know avoid some of the common mistakes that can happen if it's not done well mm, let me think i think uh, the first thing that's working for us is that we have quite independent people that actually can uh, uh, make decisions and uh, uh, don't depend so much on others. I have Another, a I have a uh, a phrase for that. I call it uh, batteries included. Like they have, you have to have your batteries included if you're going to make it as a remote worker. Yeah, what exactly. what what else? Um, we communicate communicate often. We I mean we use Slack for day to day. Uh, communications um, but git as well <laughs> you can follow everything that happens there um, let me see I, I actually don't work remote so that's a bit uh, <laughs> I don't <laughs> know exactly how is it to work remotely so you have a you have a hybrid model where some people are in the office and some yeah. people are remote which is also a way to do it which is awesome yeah, yeah we started uh, everybody was here in the office but um, as time passed by, we, we, we found interesting people that 
didn't couldn't join us in the office because they were either in other countries or in other cities of Romania and that wasn't a problem I mean because they are doing their job and I mean everything can work as good as if they were here um, yeah so we have a hybrid model <laughs> and I work at the office but we have uh, once a month we have a monthly meeting where everybody gets to um, discuss about different things that hap happens in the company. We try to communicate daily and keep in touch on each other's birthdays. And, <laughs> and we also try to see each other once a year at Work Camp Europe when possible. We also have been to Work Camp India to meet our colleagues from India. Um, yeah. I like that. That's very cool. We we actually at Lifter LMS have not done a everybody in one place yet. We've done like parts of groups of people, but I've always wanted to do that. So I'm, I love that you guys have already done that and you do it around a word camp, which is helpful because it, you know, there's already all this other stuff going on and some people might be going there anyways. So yeah, that's, I uh, that's, that's really cool. Well, Rodica, Irudeo, did I say that right? Irudeo. <laughs> Irudeo. Um, she's from Themeile. Go check out the Neve theme. You can go to themeile.com, click on WordPress themes, and you'll see Neve up there. And then if you look at the pro version, you can see what it can do for Lift LMS. Rodica, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Do you have any final words for the people out there? <laughs> Thank you for having me. The time fly, flew by. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, if they want, they can check out Nive. We are really, really proud of it. I mean, we dedicated our time in the past <laughs> months to make it the fastest, fastest out there. And uh, yeah, if they want to build their online courses with Lifter, they can use Nive because it's working uh, really good with it. Awesome. Well, thanks for building that. And thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And that's a wrap for this episode of LMS Cast. I'm your guide, Chris Badgett. I hope you enjoyed the show. This show was brought to you by Lifter LMS, the number one tool for creating, selling, and protecting engaging online courses to help you get more revenue, freedom, and impact in your life. Head on over to lifterlms.com and get the best gear for your course creator journey. Let's build the most engaging results getting courses on the internet. <laughs>